Grazie. La parola all'onorevole De Bacher. Thank you, Chair, uh, Mr. Commissioner. I thank the colleagues also for all the input and, uh, and the debate that we have had here today. Also, the collaboration, I think, with uh, other shadow rapporteurs and Madam uh, Stavanova has been uh, very excellent, and I think we have uh, improved uh, the proposal. And I hope only now that also member states will start implementing this after the negotiation that we will have with them very soon. I hope that this Europe-wide system can come into place. And I have heard here today many discussions about uh, the fact that it would be mandatory. I think if we are talking about saving lives, if we are talking about reducing the risk on the roads, I think then, indeed, as the Commissioner has said, some mandatory issues can come into play. I think it's also important that we talk about the standards, that also the industry is following this and that it will be uh, uh, taken up by the industry and in the new cars which will be produced. So I think also there we have done a good work. On the privacy issues, I think that indeed it is a dormant system which will only relate in, uh, to, to the PSAP at the moment that there is an accident and it, then only then also a very limited amount of information will be shared and I'm really wondering who will be even be interested in this kind of information at the moment that it will be transmitted. So I only urge that uh, the member states should prepare, they should prepare their systems, they should prepare their, uh, their, their backups in, in, in order to make sure that the system can be deployed uh, Europe-wide and I think here indeed the fact that we see more and more people crossing uh, the borders, uh, uh, traveling by car, I think this system in the future can and will save life if also from this parliament tomorrow we can send a very strong signal. Thank you very much. Grazie. La discussione congiunta è chiusa e la votazione si svolgerà domani alle ore 11.30. Ora l'ordine del giorno reca la relazione dell'onorevole.